They snap it to Tannehill. Rolling to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Lions are going to take possession here. That affects the game as time goes on. And they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here. Room here to run. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's... Just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. How about this? Racing to the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Sam Laporta, 98 yards. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. Second down and eight. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lions touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have... So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he won't do all that. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Oh, uh, this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. Inside hand on Henry. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Just a gain of a couple there. Third and seven now. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Tannehill looks to change things up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Tommy's crucial in any route down. But when you throw him out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. He's got the first down and more than that. And down to the 16-yard line. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and 10. Henry up the middle. And it will surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Again to Henry. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Here's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. <laughs> well, that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting. By any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swap that one away. Score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Tajay Spears taking it in from seven yards away. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. No 
don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now, this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. This is first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. It didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, 24 yards. And the Lions answer back with a touchdown of their own break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And oh, can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. his way forward and they got to be pleased with this he brings it all the way up to the 40 yard line and when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game and that's the spark that they were looking for they got it with that big return they'll come up first and ten here they'll start on the ground it's Derek Henry and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Tannehill to throw. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Now that is the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and six coming up. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You saved them for this situation, but you have to use them. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. They'll try a little trickery here on the end of the round. Now Tennessee going to use the 
second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. But we just saw the recipe for success right there. Big body, strong, agile, playing with great leverage and hands. Not really able to be blocked on that play. Close things down inside. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Flushed out right. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And the Lions have...